Welcome everyone to your October numerology reading. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's get straight in here and see what is going on with you. Best message. Intuition popping out with 22. Your intuition is popping right now. Spirit wants to know that it is time for you to use your intuition and please be patient. I feel like something is coming. I don't know why. I do feel it though. Um, yeah, abundance is on its way. 88. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Having a rebirth of love. Wow. Be patient within your rebirth because you have abundance with love. Okay. So, you might be seeing a lot of twos. Twos are also a representative of also twin flame and soulmate connections as well. So, two is also about balance. It's also about patience. It's also about your intu intuition. Um, if you are waiting for a soulmate or a twin flame, then you will be seeing a lot of one, ones, twos, and fours. Um, that's just, the, those are the numbers for those, okay, when it comes to love. Um, eights are for abundance and also for manifestation. And, the, of course, the seven is the rebirth, and it's also the seven is a heavenly, divine, you know, calling, a journey, um, the transformation. And then, of course, six is for the love, right? And it's more than just love. It's also, uh, there's other things about six as well, uh, I don't have my book right now, but there's other things that have to do with love as well with also this uh, harmony. I'm sorry, harmony. Harmony and love. Um, six brings in harmony. Okay, so having a lot of sixes, a lot of twos, and a lot of eights over here. So you guys could be seeing those numbers. Also could be seeing a lot of ones and nines as well as you're getting ready to exit from one area of your life into it having a completion with nines as you are moving into uh, new beginnings. Yeah. You can see that with the rebirth. So we have it. Speak your words of love. Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. So the universe says it's time to speak your love, whether it's to yourself, about yourself. I am love. I want to be in love using your I am's affirmations. Um, let love light the way. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the universe will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. So the divine is saying, I'm not going to fail you. You always have your spirit guide. You're always being watched. You're always being guided by the divine at all times, right? For your abundance. And it's crazy because it's coming into abundance. are manifesting something and you're waiting a lot of you are on a spiritual journey you're just waiting for this event to come in i feel it's really close got all of these um eclipses coming that are cleaning the slate clean from karmic areas you guys have done a lot of hard work i feel like a lot of you have changed a lot of things within your life to become this phoenix. You see that it reminds me of a phoenix. It's saying, I've burned myself down for the rebirth. And this card could actually, because of that phoenix, could also go for the rebirth as well, but it's telling me to put it here on the abundance as because you needed to change so much. You needed to learn so much on your journey for the abundance that you're asking for. You've been on a test and the universe has been testing you, changing you pushing you to your limits for the things you love, whether it's, it is new love, things you love, whatever. But they say, do not be discouraged. The reason I feel like it's, that's why they're saying be patient. I do feel this is on its way in. What is the next card out? Part on the rebirth, please. Yeah. Okay. 
to get in two cards here. We've got make the best of every situation. With God, everything is possible. With the universe, everything is possible. They want you to understand that there's no such thing as your manifestation being a, a fairy tale at this time. Everything is possible. Keep believing in yourself. Do not be discouraged. Do not get off your path. You are on the right path. Keep going strong. See that with the moon, too. The moon is showing you on the right path. I am lighting the way for you with the moon, with the full moon. Um, and then you have helping others is helping yourself. And we have that new moon coming, or full moon, excuse me, coming. Uh, for the whole law can be summed up in his one command, love your neighbor as yourself. Helping others is helping yourself. And I do feel like you've been helping others a lot. Um, and I think you're just waiting for that, that guiding hand to lift you into what it is you're manifesting. Acknowledge God's truth, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free within love. Uh, you already know the truth. You just continue to know the truth. You know what you live in. You know, you're going to focus on what it is you need to focus on. So let's get some joy cards over here really fast. Yeah, these cards here are very divinely set up for this um, this area. I tell you, you're, you're manifesting something, and they're literally telling you, have patience. It's on your way. Use your intuition. Acknowledge God's truth within your intuition. You can see. You know that it's around the corner. You can, If you use your intuition, you can feel the vibrations. You'll feel, you know, everything you're looking for is coming together. Yes, inspiration and simplicity. Deep, profound serenity is expanding in my life. I am receiving divine inspiration, right? Yeah, and it's like when this, and I do feel like when this full moon comes, you know, it's really going to spark up more inspiration. It's going to really push your intuition you know, through the roof over here, right? But you're having a transformation. This is freedom. A boundless freedom surges through me. So you're finding yourself to be more free as you're taking on this, this transformation. You're finding yourself to be in a more serene area of your life. You're finding the, there it is, abundance again, and you have abundance again. Through this love, I have abundance. Through my self-love, I find all this abundance, and it's finding me, I'm finding it, it's finding me. Um, because why? Because with law and attraction, I attract what I what I am. I attract, right, my own vibration. So all my needs are met above and beyond my greatest expectations. So you're just finding these things are finding you. It's almost like, I don't know if I'm really finding them or they're finding me, but they're finding their way to me. <laughs> That's for sure. Somehow, from the smallest ladybug... You know, to the biggest tree, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that, you know what, little things keep finding me, and I'm just looking and finding these little things keep, you know, I found a dollar on the on the ground the other day, right? Sheer luck, right? The Akashic scar, uh, Stargate, aligned with the purpose. You are aligned with the purpose. You are at a crossroads at this time, but you are so close to where you're supposed to be that there is no wrong path at this time. You, there is no wrong path. You're exactly where you need to be. You are walking through this new place. You are clearing old stories, releasing past lives, and finding that freedom. And there it is again, the freedom. Use your intuition because the Akashic Records are yours. You are releasing your karmic. You are exactly where you're supposed to be for this abundance you are manifesting, that you are working so hard for, that you've transformed everything about yourself in certain areas within your life to have, right? Really working strong. Oh, boy, are you strong. And it's showing. You know what? I might even given up certain things within my life. Maybe, you know, like like myself, right? I stopped smoking, um, right? To help with my own abundance, right? Giving back something so that I can free myself from something so that I can have another door open, right? If I get rid of that, shit, number one, I get more money back because now I'm not smoking. So that's already... Uh, you know, that's already a telltale sign, right? I mean, that's just natural, right? That's normal. If you're not buying that, you're saving that. But then think about what door it opens. What am I opening for the abundance? What am I opening, right? What will take its place? Something more beautiful, something more better for me, right? Besides just getting the money back, which is already in itself, just already like, whoa, who would have known you spent so much money? <laughs> right? When you really look at it. 
uh, the bore. Face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victoriously. And that's exactly what you are. You're bringing in this bore energy. You're bringing in this courage and you're bringing in this confidence. And I just feel like, but it's not something you're just bringing in right now. I feel like you've been here for a while. And it's just telling you, continue where you're going. Use your intuition. The more you think, the better you are. Wolverine, you're a lot tougher than you think you are. Boy, isn't that the truth? You are so strong. Stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. Do not complain about whatever is going on within your life. I know it's hard. Because then when certain one thing goes down, then you're like, damn it. Let it down. Shh. Stop. It's okay. You know, you said it, but you don't need to say it 20 times, right? Shh. Rattlesnake, the experiences that you're presently going through are the initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer, as things that you need. That's for someone, right? Okay, I think that, that one's a little bit different, but that's just, you know what, I just feel like with the rattlesnake, it's just the overall essence of life, because the snakes are the essence, they're the essence of our soul, our life purpose, our vitality, right, and just really going, you know, just going the way we need to go within life, and knowing that we're making it, okay, beautiful reading, so let's get over here and see what's going on with our affirmations, beautiful affirmations coming in, Remember, tell yourself every morning, every night, I am beautiful, I am wealthy, I am, I am rich, I am healthy, I am loved. Because no one can love yourself more than yourself. I am smart enough to make my own decisions. I am not a product of my circumstances. I am a product of my own decisions. That's a nice one. I like that one. Thank you. I ground myself in, in solutions and abundance. I like that because that reminds me of the boar over there. I ground myself. Start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. Okay. That was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.